Thank you very much, uh, Mr. John Chanil. Uh, I would like to call him Professor John Chanil, but he didn't like that. So <laughs> we call him Mr. John Chanil. Um, uh, now we had a, uh, towards the end of the two intensive um, program here. And thank you very much for uh, everything here. And then special thanks to uh, Professor uh, Yun Yong Su, the director of uh, Institute for Mediterranean Studies, and also all the professors who have helped us to make this uh, event successful, especially uh, Professor Sebastian Miller, uh, Professor Mona Farouk uh, Ahmed, and Professor Mozafari uh, Mohammed Hassan, and uh, Professor Kim Soo Jung, and Kim Jong, Professor Kim Jong Ha, and uh, many others who are, uh, and then Professor Lee Dong Yeol, and many others, I didn't mention the names, but uh, thank you so much for everything here. And uh, this year's topic was lessons from the pandemic. And uh, I think all of us have learned different things. And through this uh, conference, I mean, it's still hard to do things face to face, <laughs> but we are connected through uh, virtual ways. So. Um, I think uh, our people in the audience here uh, in Zoom, I think uh, Professor Eugenia Kravichin Kova from Russia, uh, from Moscow, she's there, and then Daniel Garjohara, she's he's in Pennsylvania in the United States, and many others who would later hopefully see this in YouTube and um, they virtually uh, share our um, sentiments here and gratitude. Um, and also I cannot omit uh, the, the most actually important person <laughs> in this conference was Professor Kang Ji-hoon. Uh, he has been instrumental throughout the whole process and we've been having meetings every week, uh, <laughs> every Tuesday for me and for him probably, uh, uh, every Wednesday for me and for him every Tuesday we uh, met through virt uh, uh, Zoom and Professor uh, Kang and uh, Professor Daniel Kadi Johara and then also uh, our PhD student Eduardo uh, Waitan Martinez and Professor Yan Su Kim from Purdue University. Five of us met last about four months, uh, once a week doing this. And before that, Professor Kang was uh, organizing uh, data science and uh, district management data science conference. And also for that organization, uh, for organizational meetings we met weekly. So he has been working tirelessly for uh, events related to HVIST and PhD and also IMS. And I'm very, I, thank you very much. And then I hope you guys you can also give a round of applause to uh, Professor Kang here. <laughs> and I, it's a great city to visit, and I always miss uh, uh, Busan Wade here. Um, and, but don't forget that we have uh, uh, three days of, uh, three more days of events of uh, Birds of Feather and different workshops. I hope you can participate. And uh, tomorrow, uh, actually, two uh, sessions of poetry reading in Spanish. And uh, during that time, uh, after the poetry reading, and uh, we will announce uh, diff this is a different venue and uh, different. And I'm very happy that we are doing it. So I'm just gonna just uh, give you a brief uh, uh, announcement. And to uh, tomorrow we'll have a ceremony more uh, formally. So this is the first uh, international. 
uh, literary award uh, shared by H. List and then Celab uh, Cen Center for Literary Studies of uh, Antonio Corneo Polar. is a great, great, uh, great critic of uh, Latin America, cultural studies, and so forth, and he's a uh, 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 research uh, unit. Uh, we will share this uh, international uh, uh, award, literary award. First year, next year, next, the first award will go out next year to 2023, and then 2024 we will do uh, short stories, and then 2025 we'll do uh, academic uh, uh, writings. So uh, each year uh, we'll take three year tons, so each year a different uh, genre we will uh, give presents, uh, awards to um, the winners. And also, uh, I completely forgot, uh, don't let me skip uh, the students uh, from Busan uh, uh, University of Foreign Studies here have been really helpful and I really appreciate all your hard work and I think I owe you something and now next time I'll bring something <laughs> to Busan with them to recognize all of your hard work and thank you very much for your technical support and also uh, really you know, um, coming to uh, work on <laughs> on Monday, which was holiday for you, and thank thank you very much for your time and efforts. And I'm really impressed by the spirit, the core of the team spirit of this uh, unit. And uh, thank you very much for for your support. And hopefully, we can continue these efforts share these efforts together and celebrate this uh, international conference and and now we we're, we're doing it in, in here and next year we will do uh, in October it's almost set the time I think third week of October we'll uh, do uh, age list conference in, at uh, Purdue University uh, first time in ever since we started the age list and uh, our home is a Purdue University. It's uh, two hours south from Chicago and one hour from Indianapolis. So hopefully a lot of you can join face-to-face uh, -face or virtually. Hopefully you can come and uh, uh, very happy to hold the conference there. And we will, uh, in, after this uh, uh, year's conference ends, within a couple of weeks we'll announce the next year's theme and uh, send out call for papers and I hope uh, you can help us to uh, distribute the information and then uh, and hopefully you yourself can participate in at Purdue and usually we give a uh, we pick a representative of next year's uh, institute and, and, and ask them to present about school but you know, uh, Professor Yeonsu Kim is supposed to gonna do that, but she's under the weather, so I'm gonna do it briefly in 30 seconds. And so Purdue University is big uh, public institute, so-called uh, uh, Big Ten, uh, big uh, ten public university in Midwest, and uh, originally started out as, as an agriculture and mechanical engineering school. Uh, it's, it was founded in 1863. So it's uh, past 150 years of uh, history. And then uh, now it's a full university with uh, many, many majors, uh, not just uh, engineering and agriculture, but we have a business school, we have vet, vet, veterinarian school, nursing school, hospitalities, and many other uh, majors in Purdue. And probably only two universities, maybe three universities in, in the United States have airport inside of campus. We have our own airport. As you can see, uh, I think the, the official count is that there are, are, there, are uh, there have been 26 NASA astronauts from Purdue University and the most famous ones, as you might know, Neil Armstrong graduated from Purdue University. So a lot of famous uh, school for aerospace engineering, aviation. So that's why we have airport inside of school. So uh, as you can imagine, the the size of the university is one of the largest university in the world, huge. And then uh, and 
like on other Big Ten universities, is a this called so-called uh, land grant university, meaning after the Civil War of America, uh, President Lincoln and uh, the government gave out uh, the uh, big uh, size of the lands to support uh, educa public education, and this university received uh, lots of lands, uh, part of the uh, northern part of Indiana, and the and then this uh, established. So it's known to you know, educate uh, middle class uh, Americans in, in this university. And so that, that's it. And thank you very much for your help. And then uh, hopefully you can continue uh, participating in the next three days of uh, Birds of Feather session. Thank you.